So maybe you have asked yourself, how can you measure distances in an image? So measure distances in pixel in an image and know that those distances correspond to distances in the real world. This is something which typically doesn't work with an image taken with your regular camera, with a perspective camera, because those cameras take the points in the 3D world and project them onto a 2D image plane with a central projection or an approximation of the central projection. And this form of projection doesn't lead to distances in the image plane that correspond to the distances in the real world. So what you need to do is you need to generate a so-called orthophoto. An orthophoto is a picture, you can envision this as a picture which has been taken very, very far away from an object. Like sitting in space somewhere on a satellite and taking an image of the Earth. Because in this setup all the rays from your image plane towards the objects are more or less parallel. And if they are more or less parallel, then you will actually generate an image where you can perform those measurements in an image. In practice, however, you can't generate those images, so it's very tricky. So what do you need to do in order to get an autophoto? The good news is you can compute an autophoto given a real-world image. Um, you need a bit more information than just the image. You also need to know the geometry of the object you're picturing, and you need to know where your image has been taken from and what your camera parameters are. But with this information, you can actually compute a uh, so-called orthophoto. Let's see how that works. So what we have, we have a picture taken from this colored surface, for example, and we want to generate an orthophoto from that surface. So what we do is we generate a new so-called virtual image, so an image that doesn't exist in reality, but that I want to compute now my orthophoto. And I put it as a grid underneath my surface, and then for every of those pixels in this new virtual image, I move up to the surface here along the Z direction until I intersect with that surface. And this gives me a point in the 3D world. And then I'm taking this point and projecting this point into my camera image using my standard x equals px equation that we use to transform 3D points with the projection matrix into um, the image point. And then what I'm doing, I'm just taking the color value or the intensity value at that pixel location, copy it, and store it at the corresponding location in my autophoto. And I'm simply repeating this process over and over again for all those pixel locations in my autophoto, which will generate me a new photo where I can actually measure distances in this new image and they correspond to the distances in, in the 2D world, which I think should become clear from this illustration here. So that's a way how you can actually generate orthophotos, at least in its most simple form. Um, what you need to do is you need to have your surface model, um, you need to know where your image has been taken, your camera parameters, but then you can actually generate those orthophotos, which allows you then to perform measurements in those images. This is important when building maps. If you, for example, use Google Maps and take the image overlay um, of the aerial image with a map, that is something which is very close on approximation of an autophoto so that you can actually measure distances in this image and those distances correspond to distances in the real world. I hope that video gave you an idea how those autophotos can be generated and that you know how you can actually build those types of special images, these images taken in orthogonal parallel projection in order to perform measurements in it. I hope that was useful. Thank you very much and see you soon.